Been over a month since Brilliant Stars has come out, so what has been going on in the market as booster box prices have been rising? Let's go and take a look. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at Brilliant Stars. Now this set is absolutely incredible, but the market has been going absolutely crazy for this set. Everybody, <laughs> to be honest, has been going crazy for this set, including myself. And booster box prices are rising. They're actually going quite fast in all honesty compared to other sets based on how much product is actually being put out there. And Brilliant Stars is delivering. So we will take a look over on TCG Player, for the US market price. And then we're also going to be taking a look at eBay for the UK and the EU just to give us an idea of what's really been going on because this product is absolutely great. But is now the time to pick it up or should we wait? Let's go and take a look. So TCG player, as you can see, it has been going up. The booster box is one, four, five. Now it has been going up three months ago. If we take back just, just a month, because it hasn't been out that long, it was around 133, dipped to 130, and it has been climbing ever since. We've already had loads of product hitting the shelves for Brilliant Stars. This set is absolutely stacked, guys. I know you guys love opening it. I love opening it. In all honesty, it is much more of an enjoyable set to open than, let's say, Evolving Skies, for instance. Because of the trainer gallery, the pull rate of this set is great. And it's just incredible. Charizards as well. There's five Charizards in this set. That pushes the value up as well. Now, here's the thing. 145 will we see a reprint well there are some due along the line for brilliant stars but we'll have to wait and see when they arrive how much of it will arrive because this set is in high demand and everybody wants to crack open brilliant stars this is that great of a set could i see this set dropping back down to a hundred dollar mark i would find it very hard to believe i think even with a reprint coming this will probably drop to around 120 probably at the low point. If you can pick it up for around 120 now, I would do so, it is incredible. I have recently picked up some Brilliant Stars boxes myself. This set is absolutely incredible. 145, that is quite pricey. It is quite pricey, I'm not gonna lie. If you take a look at other sets in the market right now, you know, Fusion Strike, Chill and Rain, even Vivid Voltage and Darkness, they don't come up to that 145 mark. Vaughan Skies is the only exception that's kind of in a league of its own. Reprints are due to come. This is a really great product, and that is why the prices are what they are at the moment, guys. You know, would I buy some now? I would, but not at 145. I would try and get them a bit under if I can, or just wait for hopefully another wave coming. Okay, moving on to card market for the EU. Now, Brilliant Stars is holding at around that 115 euros mark. That's probably about right. I mean, that's actually, I would say, kind of on the cheaper end, uh, because here in the UK, it's actually more expensive. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but this is actually pretty good for 115. And if we can scroll down, we can see from a different places. I set the language to English, and as you can see, guys, starts off at 115. And as you scroll further down, there's quite a lot way before that 120 mark. If you're getting it shipped here in the UK, don't forget it does cost the import tax, which does add up a little bit more value. But apart from that 115, that's a pretty good deal. And as you can see, Brilliant Stars has taken like a you know kind of a, a low point in you know re in recent weeks. If you take a look, I mean it had a weird spike at one two two, but around this is one thirteen here, one fifteen. So it's been being really consistent at one fifteen. Like I say, great pickup to get over in car market. I think car market is one of the best places to pick up from Europe. Incredible prices on there. And yeah, overall, really good. Okay, right, on to eBay here in the UK is a different story altogether. I mean, take a look, and they seem to be selling for around 120 to 130. Okay, let's take a look at this. We've got 125, 122. If I scroll further up, this one actually sold for 105. That's pretty good going. But if we keep going up, we've got some that have sold from different places. We've got another one here for 120. We've got 130. These say these were from, you know, other countries from around the world so i mean i would probably say the 120 to 130 mark for brilliant stars here now i picked some up myself for around 120 i think some were 120 some were 125 overall it is 
a little bit more expensive. I remember picking them up not too long ago, maybe two, three weeks ago, for around 110 to 115. So they are going up here in the UK as well. So make sure you watch out, try and get a good deal because the prices are rising. And it's actually getting quite tricky to get hold of Brilliant Stars just from stores. I've seen online stores sell them for 130, 135. So it's actually been going up a decent amount on online stores. So if you can get a good deal on eBay, then I would try and do so. Like I say, EU prices aren't too bad, but they are rising, guys. Now let's go and take a look at some of the single cards of Brilliant Stars to see what they're doing. Okay, right. First off, we have the Charizard V Art. This is the most expensive card in Brilliant Stars, and it has gone past $200. This is an incredible card. Charizard Fight and Venusaur incredible absolutely incredible i love this card i don't own it myself yet haven't been fortunate enough to pull it I haven't been able to pull it in a live stream but i really hope that we do get it in a box break because that'd be that'd be that'd be cool let's be honest and what's going on but like i say this is the most expensive card so we take a look we go back a month as you can see it did go i say low 185 that's still really expensive and all the way up past that 200 dollars can i see it go even higher absolutely i actually think this will probably be it's already you know the second or third most expensive alt art in the sword and shield era but i can honestly see this eventually taking over the umbreon from evolving skies because it's charizard it's an alt art and it's actually quite tricky to get hold of I haven't seen many people pull this. I've been seeing a lot of people open the Rainbow V Star, which we'll get to in a moment. But this is an incredible card. And if this starts, you know, becoming more expensive, booster boxes become more expensive, this is becoming hard to pull, then the value of this will go up and up and up even more. It is pricey. If you get a well centered, good condition one, guys, I would definitely send that off to get graded. I would even pay the PSA prices to get it graded just because the card's already worth a really good value anyway. So it's not it's not too bad this is a great card this is the most expensive card in the set right now but this set actually has a few cards that are really expensive all right speaking of expensive we are back with second charizard which is the rainbow v star at 155 this card has kind of just stayed pretty steady in all honesty you go back to the last month i mean it took a dive to be honest down to as low as 151 150 at one point so that 150 to 155 is about right for this card. Now, I would say this card and the other Charizard, the, the old art one, here in the UK are very close in value when people try and sell it around 120, 130 pounds each. They, they can vary, but only ever so slightly. So they're quite level. But $200, 150, it's, it's Charizard. Like I say, I see this card pulled more than the old art. But overall, the old art, I think, more awesome to be honest but overall yeah this is the second most expensive card in the set you know would i buy it no i i probably would hold out if more printings come in this card will be pulled more and the value will drop ever so slightly i wouldn't expect it to just tank i don't expect any of these big cards to tank as we've seen with other cards from other sets like the umbriano art and just pretty much anything from volumes guys they do tend to either hold their value or go up so, uh, you know, overall, I think 155 might be a little bit pricey, but I would probably hold off just a little longer. And if you pull one, <laughs> that's a bonus as well. All right, on to the Arceus VOR. Now, I actually pulled this one myself. Couldn't believe it. First pack magic in a video. Incredible card. It is an incredible card. And around $58, we go back a month. It's another card that is kind of dipped. I wouldn't say it's taking a dive. It's just dipped a little at around 58 dollars is pretty good here in the uk this tends to sell for around 40 to 50 pounds it depends on condition you know as as with all single cards it's all about the condition of what it sells for but overall this is a great card you know beautiful artwork i actually think it's pretty cheap i thought this card would actually probably reach a hundred dollars and it probably will but it, it's gonna take some time you know it back you know it's it did take a little bit of a dip with people cracking packs and i think because this set is so early on i don't see this card jumping up in price anytime soon in fact it'll probably go down even more when more packs get opened but overall great card 
really like this OR Arceus V. All right, we're back with Arceus again, and this is the Gold V Star. Great card, absolutely amazing. I love this gold card, and I like the V Stars. Let's take a look at this. So, 50s, this it was 60, and it dipped actually below 50, but it's staying around that $50 mark right now. Here in the UK, about 40 pounds is what I've seen people sell it for. Great card, great card, really nice. $50 is probably about right. It will go up over time. It will probably dip even more when more product gets opened, like all of these cards. But right now, great card. Uh, you know, hard card to pull. I haven't seen many people, you know, pull this card that much. I mean, I haven't got it myself. You know, a gold V-Star is not that easy to get, guys. And this is a beautiful, stunning card. Absolutely love it. Have it for your collection. Great card to get graded. Any of these cards. Brilliant Star seems to be a set that can reward quite well for grading, it seems. As you know, I've seen from other people grading with different different companies. Arceus V Star is pretty good. Will I pick it up right now? With most of these, I'll probably hold off at least the singles. The more cheaper ones are probably a little bit better to get, um, more so than the really high top end. But I would classify this as still kind of the top end, so I would probably avoid it for a little while. And then we have the Charizard V Full Arts. We have another Charizard. That's three Charizards in the top five. And this is a V full art. This isn't an old art. This isn't a gold card. This isn't a rainbow. This is just a full art and it's Charizard. And it's around $45 here in the UK, about £35 roughly. You can get it for a pretty good deal. I've seen some sell for a little bit less. This is a V. This is a full art. This is easier to pull than some of the other cards that we've already been shown. Can I see this card going above $50 and staying above $50? Yeah, it's Charizard. Like I say, Charizards just hold their value incredibly well. Would I pick this up? I mean, in all honesty, this card stayed quite, it's quite steady. I know it's been going up and down, up and down, up and down, but it's only a few dollars in between. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty good pickup. I wouldn't say it's at that really high top end, not pushing $100 or anything, but I would still say this is a great card to pick up. You know, $45 here in the UK, like I say, 30, 35 is also a really good pickup. So there you have it, guys. A brilliant Stars market update. It's doing well. The set is a strong set. It's been well received. People really enjoy opening it and people really enjoy collecting it. I really rate this set. I'd say it's probably the second best set in the Sword and Shield era behind Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies seems to be the one that people are collecting and investing in and people are cracking the packs of Brilliant Stars. But if people are cracking the packs and the demands there, it's causing the prices and the value to go up anyway. Long term, people are going to look back on Brilliant Stars and go, I want to open that set because I remember that it had a ton of great pulls in there. You know, good pull rates, five different Charizards, set is stacked. We didn't even take a look at the trainer gallery today, guys, but I'll give you an example. We have Evolutions in there as well. This set is just, it's got it all. It has literally got it all. It is such a great set. Now, will we see the same reception when Astral Radiance comes out, which also contains a trainer gallery subset? We will have to see. We'll take a look. We haven't had the full set list yet, but when we do, we will get a closer look and get a real idea whether or not the set's going to be a hit or a miss. But Brilliant Stars right now is a hit. It is doing well. Would I buy booster boxes right now? Yes, but at a good price. Like I say, 120 is a good, you know, ballpark figure. If I can get less for 120, then I would definitely go for it. If it's more like 130, 135, 140, it's a little bit pricey. They are bound to have reprints coming, guys. And is it going to be exciting? It's exciting. Great set. Like I said, I've picked some up and I'll show you guys as well. And we've been cracking them open in the live streams. I know you guys have been enjoying it. Anyway, guys, if you made it this far into the video and you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon content. And that is it from me, guys. As always, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are legends. And I'll see you in the next one.